welcome back to my channel in today's video finally you guys have requested this video so much i'm going to be sharing with you my easy five minute curl hana tutorial i love watching hair tutorials because they're really helpful and they really help you to get to those salon like hair looks so this is what i'm gonna try and do today with you i'm gonna try and teach you this little technique which it's very fast, it's very easy, and will give you that, you know, salon look going on, like that celebrity red carpet look, and it's very easy and very quick. This can work on clean hair, dirty hair, five-day-old hair, greasy hair, any type of hair. If you want a little bit of a pick-me-up when it comes to your hairstyle, just make sure to keep on watching. So first, you're gonna be needing, of course, is a heating tool, a curling wand, a straightener, whatever you want. I like using a curling wand because it's easy and it gets the job done. I have a couple of curling wands, but, but the one that I like using is quite a like a wide barrel wand just because it's faster. I have a lot of hair. My hair is very long, I can say. My hair is long and it's very thick. I have a lot of hair, so using a wider barrel, a wide barrel wand gets the job much easier done for me. So that's what I'm gonna be using, but of course, you can use whatever you have at hand and you can use whatever you prefer. Second thing that you're gonna be using is a trusty old hair tie. I'm gonna be using this one. It doesn't matter any hair tie will do because we'll just use the hair tie just to do the look and we won't be using it later. So it doesn't matter if it's a fancy hair tie or a pretty old one. If you wanna use some heat, heat protectors, you can, but I've applied mine yesterday, so I don't need to do that today. I did my hair yesterday, it's still very fresh, so, you know, usually when it comes to curls, they hold on better when it comes to a little bit of a dirtier hair, when it comes to like a two day or a three day old hair. Curls kind of, you know, stick better to a little bit of a noilier, dirtier texture. So, whatever floats your boat, you can do that. Um, however, I just did my hair yesterday and I was like, let's film this video today because you guys have been asking for it. You would also need, but this is optional, a hair serum to use afterwards to run, you know, your fingers through your waves or through your curls. If you like that shiny, healthy look, you might want to use that afterwards. You can also use a shine spray, whatever you want. I'm just gonna take my hair off because I just filmed this tutorial. If you haven't watched this yet, it will be up very soon or it's up already I don't know so this is my hair I've straightened it yesterday and I mean I did a pretty good straightening job however I didn't really get into the super sleek kind of look because I knew that I wanted to film this video this week so this is what we're working with and uh, yeah first step that you want to do is make sure that your hair is nice and sleek it doesn't have any knots in it as I've said I've done it yesterday so mine is you know pretty sleek so you want to grab your hair like this and put it up in a ponytail when it comes to the elastic band it's better if you have one of these elastic ones rather than a scrunchie because if you have a scrunchie it can fall off like what's doing this hair look so I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any bumps and lumps I have a lot of bumps and lumps whenever I put my hair in a ponytail so use a brush like this was it really that was me not to get a brush but anyway the higher you put your hair the higher up the curl will be Next thing that you're gonna do is section your hair by pieces. You can grab a lot of hair, you can take a little bit of hair. It just depends on how how much time you have, how much effort you wanna invest in this hairstyle, and also how uh, you know defined you want your curl or your wave to be. I like mine to be pretty loose, so I'm gonna grab like maybe an inch of section and then you just want to wrap it around if your hair doesn't hold a curl really well i suggest that you grab you know smaller sections just so that you have more volume more curls and a little bit more tightness so that by time it can loosen up so i'm just gonna hold the 
curling wand for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, something along those lines. I don't really count. And I've set the setting on my wand on the highest temperature. You can use, of course, lower temperature, but I have to care. And I want this done fast, so yeah, high temperature. So when you let the curl go, just make sure to hold it like this for a couple of seconds because it is the crucial part of the curl. It will kind of determine or determine whatever it determines. It will kind of determine the life of the curl from now. Also pin these, like if you have time, you can also pin these using some hair clips or hair pins. Um, I'm like, I'm not super maintenance when it comes to my hair, so I'm lucky if I'm curling it. So this is the curl. Imagine me going out like this. But anyway, just gonna keep on doing the same thing all over. I'm gonna switch on some music. I'm gonna keep on doing this, guys. that is done I'm just gonna remove my hair tie and you don't want to pull it down just so that you don't kind of tug on the waves you just want to slowly take it off so this is what we're left with so now you have these gorgeous curls are like really really easy and quick to make beautiful you guys you cannot see them but i will show them to you guys really really soon focus what i like to do to complete the look leave it as it is i like to grab this part just you know curl it just a little bit to complete the whole look just a little bit to give it a little bit of a side volume you can leave this on and just work around your hair to see if there's anything that needs a little bit touching up i'm happy with how it is so i'm just gonna turn this off again you can just put on some hand spray or some serum whatever you want i'm just gonna leave it like this honestly because i mean it's looking okay so i'm just gonna show you the final look My hair doesn't really show as much since it's black. If it was a balayage or a blonder kind of look, it would have shown much better on camera. It's looking so good. So that's it for so that's it for so that's it for so that's it for my five minute curl video. I hope that you enjoyed watching and you found this video helpful. As you saw, super easy and fast to recreate. So make sure to let me know in the comments below and also take me on Instagram or wherever you're at. If you do utilize this kind of technique, I would love to know. And yeah, I hope that you found this helpful and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.